Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, I just created this student fees part of my hostel management system project. If you are not seeing my previous video, just go to description and check out the link. In this video, I am going to create a new JFrame for this all student living part. So let us start. Let me close this application. And one more thing, we just need to write one line of the code in a student fees part. So we just need to write in this uh, clear method, we just need to write here J button and here the button 3 set visible and we just need to make it as a uh, true, okay? In the student fees part, okay? Now let me create a new JFrame for all living student part, okay? All students living okay let me click on finish you can see our form has been created now let me make it as 700 comma 500 okay and first we are going to remove mean max and close button from this form so i just need to go to the properties and we just need to click uh, connect click on here and after that we just need to set the location so i am just setting the location x is to 480 and the uh, y we are here 150 okay okay just close this after that here we just need a button so let me place it here and let me go to the properties and let me select an icon for that i am selecting here close all jframe png image and let me read this text let me remove this after that we are placing it here okay after that we just need to insert a table here Okay, let me insert a table here and after that we just increase the size of this table. Okay, and let me save it. After that we just need to making this uh, layout to absolute layout so that we can insert image in the background of this. Okay, form. Let me go to the properties and let me search for the page background image and let me place it here perfectly on this form. And let me double click on this let me remove this and let me save it and after that we just need to do is move to the table content section and first we will delete all this uh, column from here okay after that we just need to do is we just need to uh, edit one by one and here we just need nine columns okay so let me five six seven eight and nine okay and one by one we are going to change it or I'll rename it as name after that uh, the next uh, is for the mobile number okay after mobile number the next is for the father father name okay after this uh, the next one is for mother name name okay and after mother name the next one is for email okay after email we just uh, next one is for the address address after address the next one is for college college name after college name the next one is for the aadhar that one is our unique id aadhar number okay and the last we are just displaying the room number okay room number and uh, let me close this let me just close this okay and you can see the name of the all the column is display here and now we just need to write the course for the back end and you can see fronted part has been completed almost completed and one more thing we just need to connect uh, this page with our home page so i'm just moving it here and we just need to double click on this all living student all student living sorry and in this we just need to copy this uh, two lines of the code color changing of button code and we also need to change the button so 5 5 and uh, here we are setting the visible new and all student living dot set set visible we are making it as true okay this one is also connected with our all living part, student living. So now we have to write the code. So for that, first we need to import. So I'm just importing import java.squill. Okay, asterisk this one. 
and after that we also importing the package project package with the connection provider class and after that we just need to write the code in here you can see in this part and we just need to write first uh, default 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 table table model this one we just need to after that we just write a model equals to bracket and in this we just need to write default default model this one after that we just need to write j table one dot get model okay and let me remove this uh, okay and after that we just need to do is just uh, making the resizable automatically we are making it as false joe so set auto auto resizable mode this one we are selecting and j table one dot auto auto resizable of this one we are selecting the option let me make it little bit up after that we just need to write the code for try catch uh, sorry uh, to display the details okay so i'm just writing here try catch exception e and in the try section we just need to write first we need to create a connection connection con equals to connection provider class so this one dot get con and after that we just need to create a statement st equals to con dot uh, create statement and in this we just need to write result after that we just need to call result set using st dot uh, execute query this one and in this we just need to write the query so we just need to select select star from student where status is living okay living after that we just need to do is and uh, while rs dot next okay and in this we just need to write model dot add row okay this one and first let me open the database so that you can see which fields i am inserting and uh, okay so our database name is hostel and uh, let me show the description of the student table and you can see first we want to display the name so for that we just need to write here let me delete this first and here we just need to write new object okay in this we just, uh, after that we just need to create a bracket and here we just need to write rs dot get string and uh, string this one and we just need to write here two okay first we are displaying the name that's why we are writing here two ah uh, so let me copy this and uh, let me paste it again and again okay paste after that we just need to display the uh, while number after that we just need to display let me go to and check it out father name so i'm just writing here three after that four okay five okay and after five uh, as it is we are moving six seven okay eight okay let me check it out for the eight number one two three four five six seven eight okay and, and we just don't want uh, only to display this status part and else we uh, want to display all so let me write here 8 after that uh, 9 okay and uh, you can see this one is a 9 number room number so let me also write in the catch block if any exception generated in that case it will show a message dot uh, show message null okay now you can see our this part is also get completed so let me run this and let me show you 
let me go to the home page let me execute this okay and let me click on all student living okay 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 this one is a one more student uh, so let me close this okay we did not write the course for this uh, exit okay so first we also need to write here let me move to the all student living part and just need to double click on this and let me move to here we just need to write set visible making it as false and, and again we are moving to the home page and let me run this okay. now let me again run this so i just deleted the one dummy data from here okay and here you can see the details of the student name you can see god of command mobile number father name mother name email address address you can see college name aadhar number room number you can see all the details so let me add a one student and let me show you like i'm just writing 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 let me write you one by one sort of kumar sunil kumar i'm just writing after that uh, nisha kumar kumari okay email address sort of at gmail.com and india i'm just writing okay after that college i'm just writing aktu i'm just writing the aadhar number 444 Five 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 and four 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 four. Okay, let me click on save. Successfully updated. It means that this student is uh, living in that room. So let me move to the sorry, uh, all living stu student living. You can see the details of that student. And here you can see also the room number of that student. So this is all about stu all uh, student living part of my hostel management system project. In next video, I'm going to create a new JFrame for leave the student part. So stay tuned with us. Please hit like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.